Helping to reverse the trend is Lou Earhart, a biology professor at the University of Central Florida. He and a cadre of student volunteers are developing ways to monitor and protect these ancient creatures. Today, their mission is to capture and study loggerhead turtles. It's a little bit like fishing. Sometimes the fish are biting and sometimes they're not. Okay, we got a loggerhead. Here we go. It's a beautiful loggerhead. Typical Indian River Lagoon loggerhead. Flipper, and then the, and then uh, get a rear flipper also. Once once Terry's got it stabilized with a front flipper. Don't let him bite you. The loggerhead is quickly transferred to a larger boat. All right, good work. Then it's tagged, measured, and weighed. Before it's released, blood and skin samples are also taken. The blood sample is used for DNA genetic work. We're interested in the long-term trend in marine turtle abundance. It's impossible to manage the recovery of an endangered species if you don't do that. So she weighs a little more than I thought she did. More like 140 pounds. These sea turtles uh, don't mature until they're 25 or maybe even 30 years. They don't even start to breed. And we know that they, they breed for at least 20 years, maybe a lot longer than that. She's a long way from being old enough to breed. Uh, probably, probably as many as 10 years before she shows up on the nearby beach. For thousands of years, Melbourne Beach, Florida, offered nesting loggerheads the security of isolation. Today, the turtles must share their ancestral breeding grounds with tourists. Despite a growing population, this 20-mile stretch of sand is one of the largest sea turtle nesting areas in the world. And Melbourne Beach has become an environmental success story. Scattered all along the sand dunes, even between beach chairs and blankets, are clearly marked sea turtle nesting sites. Strong symbols of a community's decision to protect and coexist with an endangered species. But when day slowly turns into night, Melbourne Beach becomes the sole domain of these ancient mariners. We've got a loggerhead uh, on the beach above us here. She's just come out of the surf. She's uh, moved up uh, on the beach and uh, has uh, uh, prepared the, the nest site. That's when Lou Earhart's team goes back to work, measuring, tagging, and counting turtles. Somebody we've seen before. It's basic biological information that is fundamental to the conservation and, and management of a threatened species. Over the next 30 minutes, this loggerhead will lay just over 100 eggs. Though only one in 10,000 will reach maturity, this survival rate is enough for the continuation of the local population. Along this stretch of beach, each year the loggerheads will lay over two million eggs. When the turtle is finished, she covers her clutch with sand and slowly makes her way back into the ocean. Here she goes, heading back to the water. The good news is that in recent years, the population of loggerhead turtles along Melbourne Beach has nearly doubled. However, there may be an unexpected twist to the story. In 30 years, when loggerhead hatchlings return to reproduce, will the nesting beaches of Florida still be there? <laughs>